Hey everybody, it's Miss Segovia here, and I'm going to help you fill out your graphic organizer for cells. This is basically a Venn diagram, but it's in a square shape for something a little different. Let's start out first with what all cells have. All cells have a cell membrane. That's for your phospholipid bilayer that keeps what needs to be inside in and what needs to be outside out. We'll be learning a lot more about this shortly. Cytoplasm, I don't have a cool picture of because if when we draw it, we usually make it look like gel. There's a lot more going in cytoplasm than what meets the eye, but at this level of biology, just know that it's the gooey stuff. DNA is what carries the genetic information. In order for cells to pass the information on the next generations, we have to have DNA. And finally, ribosomes are found in all cells. These are our little protein factories that create the enzymes and other structures that your cells need in order to survive. So let's move on to prokaryotes. Prokaryotes have all of the above, and it, we typically draw it very simply like this, with cytoplasm, ribosomes, DNA, cell membrane, and a cell wall in the prokaryotes case. They're very simple. They have no organelles. Their DNA is circular and they come in many different shapes and sizes with lots of cool little accessories to go with them. You'd love biology if all we had to do was study prokaryotes, but unfortunately we got to go a little bit deeper into eukaryotes. Eukaryotes have the organelles that you're probably already familiar with. There's the nucleus, the mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum. Animal cells in particular have a cytoskeleton, centrioles, and microtubules. You've usually seen them drawn in a circular form with a great big nucleus in the middle. Plant cells, on the other hand, are a little bit more rigid because they have a cell wall. You'll also usually notice little green dots inside there, which are the chloroplasts, and a large central vacuole. When you see plants sketched out, they tend to have a more geometric shape and look a little bit more rigid. These are the basics I want you guys to have on your graphic organizer. Feel free to add any additional pictures to help enhance it and help you remember the different parts. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.